Hola again, guys. I am about to start my tacos de papa. Uh, potato tacos. Very basic, very humble. This is struggling, growing up poor food, but really, really good food. All you need are some russets, whatever potato you like, but I prefer russets. Your queso fresco. Uh, if you want to keep it like authentically Mexican, do queso fresco. You can use cheddar, you can use any kind of cheese you want, but this is the way I grew up eating it. So russets, queso fresco, uh, corn tortillas, lettuce, sour cream, salt and pepper, any kind of seasoning you like, whether you want to use cumin or garlic salt, or if you want to you know, spice it up that way. I've just been using this for quite a while now. Sometimes I'll use the Lowry seasoned salt, but I like the flavor of this. Any salsa you want, I prefer green with tomatoes and oil. So I got the oil heating up here for the taters and over there for the tortilla. So let's get her going. I am back at my sink. I'm peeling taters and I peel directly into a bowl so I can just throw them away. Um, but I wanted to come on and chit chat with y'all while I do this because it's too quiet. It's so quiet with little dude not here. Oh look. I'm testing out the licky stick, as my grandma used to call it, her licky stick. But anywho, that's what these tacos remind me of, my grandma. So I got her on my mind a whole lot today. I'm not like my grandma, though. My grandma was hardcore, and my mom is too. How many of y'all slice the potatoes in your hand like this? I'm not even going to try it, or y'all are going to end up seeing something Michael Myers would create. How many of y'all slice onion or pepper in your hands like this? Onion or papas or whatever. I can't do it. I'm so scared. I used to try and do it because that's how my mom did it. Growing up, I used to watch her. And I can't do it. Um, I've cut myself. But I was just curious. I was just curious who does it that way. I'm on this side right now. I'm about to cut up my potatoes and uh, slice up my lettuce. So, my lettuce will be ready. I don't do many veggies. I only do one veggie on there and it's lettuce and it's just because I like the fresh of it. But also, I wanted to come and chit chat with you guys right now because I told you guys I was gonna do a story time yesterday. No, I didn't get tipsy. I didn't mess myself up and not be able to uh, come on and um, and tell y'all the story. The reason I didn't is because I'm a chicken and I was by myself and it had already gotten dark and I knew if I started talking about them, I was going to get scared. <laughs> so I put it off. Now, <laughs> don't know how much protection an 11 year old little boy will be, but there's just comfort in knowing I'm not alone in the house when I'm talking about a kukui. I need to push my hair back. Um, it's getting on my nerves. Anywho, so yeah, that's how come I didn't come back on and do a do a story time. But I will tell y'all the story time. Some of y'all were like, what poll? What questions? What what choices for stories did we have? Um, if you go on my, let's see if I'm telling y'all right because I'm not techie. If you go on, if you click my, my icon, my, my picture, It'll take you to like the main page and when you click about, there's a tab on there that says community and I just found this out not too long ago. You can post pictures or just put little messages out to, to you guys. So I just figured that out not too long ago. So um, that's where I put my, you can do polls. Um, and that's where I put my question if anybody wanted um, story time and I gave you guys couple of selections so just in case for those of you that were like what poll what, where, where were the questions we didn't know that's how that's how I find it on you guys pages or on other people that I subscribe to that's how I find it on their page I'll click on their their home and then it'll say about blah 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 blah, blah. and then community on the community tab that's where that's where you you'll see pictures or just like straight messages. No videos, it's just pictures or straight messages. But, okay, I'm about to go start frying up these bad boys. Okay, so the taters are about this size and I make them that size because we're gonna mash them just a bit. Uh, and you're, 
If they're too small, you're going to end up with mashed potatoes, and don't nobody want no mashed potato taco. Even though mashed potato sandwiches on toast are delicious. But that's a whole other story. Anywho, I cut them about this size. Um, get them into a hot pan of grease. Ah! I dropped the potato. Pause for the cause. Okay, then I season them up with some badia, some salt and pepper. Sprinkly, sprinkly, sprinkly. I love this stuff. Love me some pepper. I don't play with pepper. Some salt. Okay, I'm going to fry them bad boys up. Now I fry them with the lid off until they get a nice brown color on them. Um, and until a fork just goes in without too much give. Then I pour in a little water, slap the lid on it, let them cook a little more, roast a little more, fry a little more, and then we break them up a bit, and that's it. But we're going to let that go for a while. While my taters are frying, I'm going to go ahead and slice up my cucumber and put it in my reserve juice. Now this juice has yielded... At least three jars of um, English cucumber pickles. So good. It doesn't go rancid. It doesn't go weird. It just gets more and more concentrated with cucumber yumminess. Uh, this might not be enough for this whole cucumber. I may have to steal a little juice from the other jar that I have started. But it might work. I don't know. We'll see. So, I don't even know why I'm insulting y'all by explaining y'all what to do but i just wanted to talk to y'all i keep hearing car door slam outside and i don't know if it's my neighbors or if little dude is coming home because it is 7 49 i got a late start on this and um oh this smells so good and he usually comes home anywhere between seven and nine o'clock and now that there's no like live school then they might try and take advantage a little bit and uh, hang out a little longer, which is fine as long as I get the heads up because I start to freak out when it gets dark. Like once it gets dark, I'm calling and texting and where's my kid and all of that. But anywho, um, I'm waiting for him to come home. I hope he likes these papas. Sometimes he comes home with a full belly. Sometimes he was so busy playing that he didn't really eat. So I like to always have something ready just in case. Uh, so a late start isn't a bad start necessarily. But I keep finding things to do around the house. Do y'all ever do that? Y'all mean to do one thing and you end up doing another and then sometimes nothing gets done? Well, and I always save the colita, el troncosito, to eat with a little salt and pepper. Yes, yeah, so delicious. If I had lemon, handy. Squeeze it on there. I don't like the little, the little, the little, the little cosita right there. The little thing right there. I don't like that. Mm -mm -mm. I'm starving. Okay. Let's see if this is enough juice. Let's see. Let's see if mama can make it work. These are so good, guys. Man, you'd eat these with some fried chicken or tacos. These are real good with tacos. I like pickles, period. But for some reason, these in particular taste really good with tacos. Any kind of tacos. I don't know what kind of tacos we're talking about. Just tacos. Okay. Give it a toss. And it covered just enough. So I don't think I need to borrow anymore. But what I do is I try and remember when I dropped them in here. And then every week I'll do this a few times just to get it all stirred up. By two weeks, they're delicious. Still have a nice little bite. By three weeks, they have a little bite, just getting a little softer. I don't like to go longer than a month myself because then they become soft like a regular pickle chip. I like mine to have a little bite. But if you're going to do this, do it with English cucumber. Um, 
regular cucumber doesn't have the same flavor, at least for me. They're like super, super watery and they don't have the bite that the English does. And they get soft really, really fast and they just don't have that mm. But um, I wish I had good lighting. But anywho, let me put my pickles up and go check out these potatoes. Papas. Potatoes in Spanish are papas. Okay. Right, let's see what we got going on here. Man, they smell so good. You guys, this stuff is life, okay? You put that on anything. Chicken, beef, fish, potatoes, eggs, whatever you put it on. It's just so stinking concentrated goodness. It's delicious. I'm going to let these go a little longer. They're not quite the color I want yet. Get down in there. Every last one of y'all. Get some heat on y'all. Ooh, smells good. Okay. Be back. Okay. You see how they're nice and toasty and golden and delicious? Okay. Well, those little coating right there. I'm going to stick a fork in them and they go through. Not all the way through, but there's still some give to them. Right now is when I dump in the water. Not a lot of water. Just enough to create some steam. Okay? Because now we're going to cover these bad boys up. We're going to lower the heat from medium high down to medium and let them sweat a little bit. And uh, I'll fork test them again here in a few minutes and we'll break them up. My back hurts. I had to sit down while they're cooking over there. But I wanted to show you all something. My attempt at gardening via YouTube schooling. This is Cecil the celery. I name my plants. Don't 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 judge. And it is definitely just the booty part of a celery. Put in just a little bit of water. I change it every few days. And just like YouTube said, I'm growing a little celery stock. I've always used the tops of celery for like potato salad and chicken salad and stuff like that. So even if I don't get a stock bigger than something Barbie would enjoy, if it keeps growing like this, I'm going to pot it. I want to plant it in a pot with soil. But I don't feel good like going to Walmart for more soil. But even if it just bushes out like that, the little celery leaves, it smells so good. Some people hate the way celery smells. I think it smells fantastic. It's just like watermelon and cucumber. It reminds me of summer. But um, that's Cecil. That's how Cecil's doing. It's all dried and crusty right here. Super dry. Like my skin. I made myself bleed, guys. Just my skin is so dry from all the extra hand washing. But anywho, isn't he cute? That's him. I'm going to chill a little. It's almost time for me to start texting and phone calling about my baby's whereabouts. But not much left to do with the papas. Just uh, break them up, fry up some tortillas, load them up, and chow them down. So, see y'all in a little bit. Okay, so now I've tossed them around quite a bit. And as you can see, they're starting to break up some. So now is the point where you turn it off. Turn the heat off. Test a few. Test some of your bigger ones. Yeah, perfect. Turn the heat off. And now you are going to break them up. You're not going to mash them. Uh, if you use one of these, you're going to end up almost ricing them. So don't. So I use one of these, these ground beef breaker uppers. And that's all I do. Okay. I just break them up. You want some chunks. You want a nice little potato bite in there. You don't want mashed potatoes. You don't want potato soup. Just mash them up a little bit. Size is up to you. How big you want your your potato bite. I try and make sure I get all of them. Because you'll be trying to bite down on it. And you end up with a big old chunk that wants to choke you. So just break them up. Now we're going to get the tortillas ready. Okay. So I've heated the oil at medium high. Just a bit. This is a 
worst part about making tacos is I'm very sensitive to food smells. Even good food smells. When they become too much, I can get nauseous and lose my appetite real quick. And oil is just one of those things that tends to do that to me. So it's my least favorite part. This is my least favorite part of making tacos. But I like mine. I don't like mine crispy because nothing takes, takes me off more than a tortilla breaking off in my hand. Uh, I do them just a little doraditas, not too, not too crispy. I like them to have a nice little bite, but that's what I do. So I'm going to make four of these. Um, I don't know why I make four. It don't matter what kind of taco. I always make four. It's a comfort number for me, and I can only eat three. I don't know what's up with me, but that was just a quick little idea of how to do tortillas for those of you that don't know how to make the taco shells at home. I mean, if you like crispy shells, then by all means, buy the ones that are already prepared um, and use those. And the reason I'm swishing it back and forth is because I want to make sure that the oil gets on top of the other end of the tortilla in there. And that um, it'll get evenly um, cooked the way I like. So I just let it swim around a little. And then I take them out. I don't want it too, too soft. Because the potatoes are soft. So I like a little crunch. That's why I like the lettuce with it. Because the lettuce gives it a little crunch. It gives it a little bit of flavor too. And texture. But I mean you're going to have soft cheese. And soft potato. And soft sour cream. You want a, you want to have a little, a little bite. But it's up to you. If you like them super soft like for enchiladas. Go for it. You can even roll them up like enchiladas. And put the queso on top. But... I like mine to be a little tayudas, a little stiff, but not crispy. So, I think my cat just hiccuped. Okay, so, it's the way I like it. And I set it on paper towel, let some of that oil off, and I'm going to move on and do the rest of them. Okay, guys, got my little tortillas, got my taters, got my little salsa I'm going to use, my lettuce, and this queso fresco. Look at this, guys. If y'all don't know about queso fresco, ooh, look at that. It's this crumbly deliciousness. So good. So yummy. Let me put these bad boys together. Okay, guys, I have y'all perched on my knife block, but that's the only way I can show y'all how to put them together. It don't take no, no, it, again, sorry if I'm insulting y'all by giving y'all the most basic of info, but I'm going to show y'all a little trick. Some of y'all like lettuce on your nachos, on your nachos, on your tacos, but it falls out everywhere. What I do is I put the lettuce down first, that way... The toppings hold it all down and you don't end up with lettuce sprinkles everywhere. And a lot of people are like, but then my lettuce will get hot. Your lettuce is going to get hot if you put it on top of your meat, chicken, papas anyway. So I just tuck my lettuce in first. Just a little hint. So here you have the taco stuffed. I want a little ham on that one. You're going to take your sprinkly, crumbly, delicious, fresh cheese. Mm, I love this stuff. So good. Sprinkle it on there as much as you want, as little as you want, don't matter. Layer it on. Okay, you're going to give me problems, aren't you? Because you tipped over, you're so big. I have to tilt you up. Taco, sir. Sorry about the angle, guys. I'm trying to make sure I don't spill nothing on the floor because these cats sure will go after it. Okay, then just a little salsa. Mmm. I'm going to put salsa on the ones that are going to hold it because this one's going to make me a mess. Well, let's try it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you guys, I can never eat four of any taco I make. But there you have it. Tacos de papa. These are so good if you are... <laughs> These are just really good. This is poor comfort food. We grew up eating this when times were tough and money was tight. But it always tasted awesome and delicious. And a lot of people eat this for Quaresma or Lent. Uh, Catholic people who don't eat meat on Fridays, this is a perfect dish for that. Um, so there you have it. 
Tacos de papa. Bon appetit, y'all. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> I forgot I end my cooking videos with bon appetit, but I don't ever want y'all to think for one second that I don't love y'all bunches. So I love y'all bunches and bon appetit, y'all.